நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of a renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is the Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. This is astrologer Deepa and I'm presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. I have published certain videos regarding Subhatva of Rahu and I'm going to explain the subject of Pabhatva of Rahu today. I'm going to explain when Rahu will deliver unfavorable and worst effects to a person. A planet, any planet delivers both good and bad effects. Now I'm going to tell you how a Pabhatva Rahu will act. I have explained a lot about Rahu in my videos. In this video, I am going to explain very elaborately so that people who still have doubts regarding the prediction of Rahu can understand better. Still many people have doubts regarding the prediction of Rahu. So I plan to make a video that can give you all the points to predict the effects of Rahu. I hope I can complete explaining the concepts in two videos. Let us see. I had mentioned a very important point in finding Subhatva of Rahu based on the position. When Rahu resides in five houses, which are Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Virgos, it will deliver benefits. I have already explained about this in my videos. Now I am going to explain when Rahu will deliver bad effects. I have mentioned in many of my videos that Rahu will not deliver benefits when it resides in the fixed house of Saturn or fixed house of Mars. It will deliver unfavorable results when it resides in the fixed house of Saturn or fixed house of Mars. A chart is displayed on the screen now. You can see Rahu residing in four houses in this chart. Rahu is residing in Gemini, Rahu residing in Leo, Rahu residing in Scorpio and residing in Aquarius. There are totally 12 houses in the natural zodiac and you can consider 5 houses out of 12 as auspicious houses for Rahu. The auspicious houses for Rahu are Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo and Capricorn. Most of my followers would have definitely memorized this since I have repeated this point countless times. When Rahu resides in these five houses, it can act on his own and it can deliver certain benefits. To a certain extent, it will deliver definitely benefits. If you exclude these five houses, there are seven houses still in the natural zodiac. The subtlety of the concept is when I say that Rahu will deliver benefits when it resides in Aries or Taurus or Cancer or Virgo or Capricorn, it implicitly means that its position in other houses in the natural zodiac has to be absorbed with attention. It means that Rahu will not deliver benefits when it resides in other houses in the natural zodiac. I often reiterate a point that astrology is nothing but a combination of rules and exceptions. The next point is you have to check whether there are any exceptions among the seven houses in the natural zodiac. I have excluded 
three houses out of the remaining seven and I have shown the position of Rahu only in four houses of the natural zodiac. What are the houses that I have excluded from the natal chart apart from Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo and Capricorn? The excluded houses are Libra, Sagittarius and Pisces. These are the houses I have excluded from the chart. Can you identify the reason why I have excluded these three houses from the natural zodiac? I have excluded these houses because these are the houses of Venus and Jupiter. It is obvious. I have depicted four houses as inauspicious house for Rahu, excluding the three houses such as Libra, Sagittarius and Pisces whose house lords are Venus and Jupiter respectively. Sagittarius and Pisces are the houses of the most natural benefic which is Jupiter. And Libra is also the house of a natural benefic which is owned by Venus. Rahu will not deliver such worse effects when it resides in Libra, Sagittarius or Pisces. Rahu will function just as the lord of the house where it resides. In most of the cases, the natural benefits will lead the native to incline, to lead a good life, to go in the right way, moral path and will deliver benefits. The natural malefics such as Saturn, Mars, Moon, which is heading towards Amavasya, Mercury with any malefic, will contemplate about the path by which it can deliver unfavorable results to the native. It will wait for an opportunity to give problems to the native based on the house effects and karaka. The karaka of the planets are permanent and the functional malefics will work based on their responsibility in the natal chart that is in terms of house they own. The house effects of the planets will differ based on the ascendant. Based on the lagna, the house responsibility of a planet will differ. The karaka of the planet will never differ. Do you think the karaka of Jupiter or Saturn or Mars is going to be different for every natal chart? No. Based on this, the three houses such as Libra, Pisces and Sagittarius are not inauspicious houses of Rahu where it cannot deliver the very worst effects. We call Rahu in Sagittarius as Kodanda Rahu. In general, when Rahu resides in the houses of Jupiter, it will deliver certain benefits. Rahu in Libra will deliver benefits reflecting the nature of Venus. Rahu will deliver unfavorable results when it resides in the four houses such as Gemini, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. Which houses among these four houses are fixed house of Saturn and Mars? The fixed house of Mars is Scorpio and the fixed house of Saturn is Aquarius. In case if these two houses become ascendant house for anybody, Rahu will deliver very worst effects. In Gemini also, Rahu will not deliver favorable results. It is just the opposite house of the house where it can deliver benefits. Gemini is the opposite house of Sagittarius. In Gemini, Rahu will not deliver benefits. Leo is the house which Rahu hates. The house lord of Leo is the worst enemy to Rahu. Rahu and Sun are the worst enemies. There is such an animosity between the planets Rahu and Sun where Rahu is a dark planet and Sun is a luminous planet which can drive away the darkness. 
sun which is the luminous planet and saturn which is the dark planet are also worst enemies rahu and sun are also worst enemies i have totally shown three houses three fixed houses and one dual house in the natural zodiac as inauspicious houses for rahu the three fixed signs are leo scorpio and aquarius the dual house is gemini in these four houses rahu will deliver the worst effects in other words rahu will not deliver any benefit when it resides in the house of scorpio aquarius gemini or leo apart from this point definitely you should know that if rahu has a connection of jupiter or venus then it will change the effects that it will deliver when rahu has the connection of benefic even in these houses it will deliver its effects altered how will the effects be it will be a blend of good and bad effects it needs experience to predict what sort of effects it is going to deliver I hope you remember my video regarding this milk decoction and sugar. I gave an example like if milk is more what will be the effect if decoction is more what will be the effect in one of my videos. It depends on what sort of coffee is made whether it is a strong coffee or a light coffee or with no milk. When you see Rahu in any of the four houses basically Rahu is Pabatwa This is what you have to understand What is the next step in making the predictions of Rahu You have to check the connection of other planets with Rahu Definitely Rahu in Leo will disturb the NATO What will it do Rahu resides in the house of Leo it will affect the father of the NATO it will affect the house and the karaka when rahu resides in scorpio it will affect the brother because it is house of mars which signifies brother the jiva karaka which is signified by aquarius is servant a rahu in aquarius will not let the native to believe or to trust anybody it will make the native skeptical and it will spoil the mind of the native When Rahu resides in Aquarius the native will not have trust in anybody but all these will be changed if Rahu is connected with a natural benefic The subhatva of Rahu will change all these effects First I told the fundamental points that is the natural tendency of Rahu in these houses but when it is subhatva when it has got a connection of a benefic all these effects will be changed how will rahu that resides in gemini act you don't need to even consider the jiva karaka of the gemini whose house lord is mercury that signifies maternal uncle rather you can give importance to the point that rahu will affect the intelligence of the native rahu in gemini will affect the karaka of the mercury Of course the connection of a benefic will alter the effects As a learner you should definitely understand that Rahu becomes Pabatwa when it resides in the four houses such as Gemini Leo Scorpio and Aquarius Let us see further exceptions regarding Rahu When Rahu resides in the house of Saturn receiving the aspect of Mars it will deliver the worst effect In the similar fashion when Rahu resides in the house of Mars fixed house of Mars receiving the aspect or when it has the connection of Saturn it will do the worst effects In all these four houses when Rahu has the connection of Saturn or Mars or both Rahu will deliver the worst effects In these four houses when Rahu has got only the connection of saturn or mars it will deliver the worst effects when rahu resides in gemini or leo or scorpio or aquarius and it has the connection of only the waning moon 
which is heading towards Amavasya or the connection of Mercury which is in connection with malefic planets, Rahu will do worst effects. When Rahu is in conjunction or aspected by natural malefics, based on the degrees which are 8, 13 and 22 respectively, we can identify the intensity of the bad effects. The power 12 will be more when it is 8 degrees. In case if Rahu is in connection with Jupiter or Venus, please try to understand or recall my milk and decoction example. There will be a blend of effects delivered by Rahu. The prediction comes from the experience of checking different nature charts. A house is built on different layers of bricks. A building is constructed based on the foundation and the layer of many bricks. In a similar fashion, you have to check point by point. The strength of the building is based on the foundation of the building. We make the foundation strong first of all and then we arrange the bricks as a layer. The way I explain Subhatva and Pabhatva of the planet is first of all I laid the foundation and then I arranged the blocks in order to raise the building. What do I mean as foundation here? When Rahu resides in the houses such as Gemini, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius, you have to consider Rahu as Pabatva. Based on the position of Rahu, you are considering Rahu as Pabatva. This is the foundation. And what is the layer of bricks to be arranged on foundation? As the next point, you are checking the connection of Rahu with other planets. Let us imagine that Rahu, while it resides in any of these four houses, has a connection of Saturn or Mars or even both the planets. What will happen? What do I mean by the term connection of planets? Connection of a planet is nothing but the conjunction or aspect of the planet. The star lord is secondary. No need to consider the concept of star lot here. If Rahu resides in a star, whose star lot is the benefic, you should not consider Rahu as Subhatva. You will not be able to make correct predictions if you do so. Definitely the predictions will be accurate when you follow the points I say. When Rahu gets connection of Saturn or Mars based on the house where it resides, it will deliver the worst effects through its bad karaka. What is the bad karaka of Rahu? Dishonesty, insidiousness, suicidal thoughts. Rahu reflects the bad character of Saturn. The most important bad karaka of Rahu is it will make the native to remain fearful. There will be huge mental stress on the native. The planet which invokes suicidal thoughts is Rahu. What is Pabatva of Rahu? What does it mean? Suicidal thoughts, incapability, mental disturbance, staying in darkness, witchcraft, mandrikam. Ketu signifies magic whereas Rahu signifies witchcraft, magic spells. In Tamil we say mandrigam, tandrigam. Someone questioned me in the comments of premium videos whether Rahu signifies magic. No. Magic is done in open air to entertain people. It is a trick done in the open air to entertain people whereas mandrigam is signified by Rahu. The witchcraft is done to deceive others. When we go to magic show, we are not deceived by the magician. We are not getting cheated. We are not getting affected. It is just an illusion done in a perfect way by the magician. The magician does some tricks to entertain us 
but no motivation of deceiving us. We buy tickets for a magic show and we go there in order to get entertained by the tricks done by the magician. The magician does not deceive us which will affect our life. But the witchcraft is done in order to deceive others. This is why Rahu signifies witchcraft and Ketu signifies a trick or a magic that entertains the people and does not affect the life of the people. I want to say this to the subscriber of the premium video who wrote the comment who raised the question whether Rahu signifies magic. Please note this. If only you research astrology using lateral thinking, contemplating the concepts, you will be able to know the subtleties of the astrological concepts. If only you research wholeheartedly, single-mindedly the astrological concepts, you will be able to explore the concepts and the subtleties. Now let me come back to the explanation of the bad karaka of Rahu. Rahu will invoke suicidal thoughts. It will also signify the indirect ways of earning. For example, smuggling, earning in dishonest ways. If it is Subhatva Rahu, what will be the effect? It will take the native in dishonest ways and it will make the native to escape from the punishment whereas Pabhatva Rahu will let the native to again choose the same path taking the native in a dishonest way to earn but eventually it will make the native to be caught. The punishment is for sure. The Pabhatva Rahu, Asubha Rahu will definitely get the native into trouble. The inauspicious Rahu will definitely spoil the name of the person. The native will definitely caught by the law system. Which is the planet that can help a person to cheat others very smartly? Only Subhatva Rahu can help the native to escape from the consequences. There is a nuance we can find how the native earn when Rahu is Pabhatva. The Pabhatva Rahu will let the native to cheat others directly, not implicitly. It will also make the natives to suffer by the consequences of their own act. You can imagine the character of Rahu as half of Saturn in terms of its bad karaka. Pabhatva Rahu will take the native in the worst dishonest ways to earn. Saturn's character will be reflected in Rahu. Well, now let us see the houses. The Scorpio house signifies poisonous snakes, all the species that have venom or poison. The species that crawls are signified by Rahu. Definitely, when Rahu resides in Scorpio, the native will encounter poisonous insects, venomous snakes, etc. If Rahu Dasha and Rahu Antar Dasha is running in the life of a person and Rahu resides in Scorpio, such people will encounter scorpions and snakes. If Rahu is Subhatva, then it will incline the native to follow a spiritual path or a devotional path. Such people will be much inclined towards the worship of Mother Durga, God or Goddess of Snakes. If the Pabhatva Rahu is connected with Ascendant or Ascendant Lord or Rashi, which signifies self or mind, it will invoke suicidal thoughts in your life and of course it will bring victory in the realization of such a thought. What does it mean? Such a person will commit suicide. If you observe the natal charts of those who commit suicide, you will definitely see the connection of Rahu with the Ascendant or Ascendant Lord or Rashi. When will this happen? This will happen during Rahu Dasha or Rahu Antar Dasha or Rahu Pratyantar Dasha. 
it will definitely happen and this can never be changed this rule is 100% correct how will the pabatva rahu be it will be as shown in the chart that is displayed here when rahu is pabatva in inauspicious houses with the connection of saturn or mars it will deliver based on the house where it resides through its karaka you have to make predictions purely based on the ascendant suppose if rahu is in 12th house pabatva and it is in also in connection with mars or saturn then it will land the person in jail if rahu resides in the 8th house to the ascendant then the native will encounter accidents if rahu is residing in the 6th house to the ascendant the native will suffer from diseases or enemies deaths or accidents we have to definitely know the nature of the house effects of rahu in a natal chart now let me display another explanation here this is like next layer of bricks here the 6th 8th and 12th houses are called dustanas these houses are inauspicious houses or bad houses you see the second table on the screen here the ascendant is marked and the 6th house and the 8th house is also marked the 6th house 8th house and 12th house are bad houses based on the house the effects will be delivered by rahu you have to definitely check the lord of the house that is dispositor in the natal chart you should also check the planet that resides in the house the 12 houses in the natural zodiac are good houses and the very same 12 houses in the natural zodiac can act as bad houses is it contradictory the ascendant lord is also capable of doing bad effects if the ascendant lord is spoiled one will dig their own grave if the ascendant lord is spoiled the ascendant lord itself can deliver bad effects if the ascendant lord loses its strength if the ascendant lord is pabatva it will not miss to deliver the bad effect sometimes even by mistake we poke our own eyes doesn't it happen in our life there are many situations where a person will contemplate and repent later why they did such an action sometimes we repent why we did a particular action since that particular action would have tossed our whole life upside down don't we think sometimes in our life so it is nothing but the pabatva of the ascendant lord if the ascendant lord has lost its strength or if it is pabatva then you will poke your own eyes that is you yourself will get into trouble When the ascendant lord is pabatwa you will spoil your own life by your own decision or action Here I have considered the position of rahu only in 6th and 8th house to the ascendant and not and not the 3rd house and the 12th house When rahu resides in 6th house or 8th house it is highly pabatwa and it will deliver the worst effects in the life of a person You have to also check the panchabhuta tatva of the house whether the house is airy sign watery sign or fiery sign or earthy sign Let us take an example the native is gemini ascendant and rahu resides in scorpio which is a watery sign in the 6th house to the ascendant Well before explaining this let me first of all explain the chart displayed here I have shown here three ascendants Aries ascendant Gemini ascendant and Cancer ascendant and I have placed Rahu in the fixed sign of Saturn and in the fixed sign of Mars which is Aquarius and Scorpio respectively For the native of Gemini ascendant Rahu is in 6th house to the ascendant in Scorpio in the fixed house of Mars It is an inauspicious house of Rahu and it is an watery sign. 
and for the native of aries ascendant rahu resides in the 8th house in scorpio here rahu will deliver certain events like where the native will drown in water and die there will be loss of life due to water death because of water this particular planetary position of rahu will bring death due to water the next ascendant is cancer ascendant and i have placed rahu in the 8th house to the ascendant in aquarius which is an airy sign to of aries ascendant i have shown rahu to be in the 8th house in scorpio and for the native of gemini ascendant i have shown rahu to be in the 6th house and for the native of cancer ascendant i have shown rahu in the 8th house aquarius which is an airy sign the fundamental rule of rahu is that rahu in 6th house or 8th house or 12th house will not deliver benefits this is the basic rule in addition to this very basic nature of rahu when rahu resides in the fixed sign of mars or in fixed sign of saturn parvatva is added more when you see rahu in the 6th house or 8th house or 12th house you can predict that it will not deliver benefits this is the fundamental rule if suppose the 6th house or 8th house or 12th house is aries taurus cancer virgo or aquarius it will do certain benefits this is the difference you have to make in the prediction when rahu resides in 6th house or 8th house or 12th house which is not its favorable house it will deliver the worst effects because a planet is supposed to deliver the house effects where it resides the next point is to check if rahu becomes more parvatva for an ascendant which sort of house is 6th or 8th or 12th house is to the ascendant for example for the native of aries ascendant when rahu resides in the 8th house it is highly parvatva because here rahu resides in the fixed house of mars and it will deliver the worst effects though mars is ascendant lord when rahu resides in aquarius in the fixed house of saturn for the native of cancer ascendant again it is highly parvatva moreover the house lord saturn and the lord of cancer or dead enemies for the native of gemini ascendant when rahu resides in the house of mars fixed house of mars in scorpio which is 6th house to the ascendant it is highly parvatva for the native of leo ascendant when rahu resides in capricorn it is parvatva but since it is capricorn house it is an exception because this is the movable sign of saturn you can easily understand this just like a cake walk for the native of aries ascendant scorpio the 8th house becomes highly parvatva when rahu resides there when rahu resides in the 8th house for the native of taurus ascendant it is not considered to be parvatva because rahu resides in the house of a natural benefic even for the native of taurus ascendant when rahu resides in the 6th house it is not considered to be parvatva because it is the house of a benefic which is venus the native of cancer ascendant when rahu resides in the 8th house it is highly parvatva because it is the fixed house of saturn aquarius for the native of leo ascendant if rahu resides in the 6th house in capricorn it is not considered to be much parvatva because it is movable sign of saturn this is the fundamental point that you have to understand and based on the connection of other planets you have to make further predictions i already told that it is highly parvatva when rahu resides in 6th house or 8th house for certain ascendants 
if in these houses rahu receives connection of only the malefic planets such as saturn or mars rahu even more gets pavatva the life of the native will be in such a trouble let us take an example that the native is gemini ascendant and rahu resides in 6000 scorpio and both saturn and mars aspects rahu for the native of gemini ascendant mars is the lord of the 6th house saturn is the lord of both 8th and 9th house of course saturn is a friendly planet to lord of gemini mercury but saturn has the responsibility of delivering the 8th house and needless to say the lord of 6th house mars is a dead enemy to mercury for the native of gemini ascendant when rahu gets the connection of saturn for example let us say saturn aspects from aquarius house the house of scorpio then the native will be in such a great trouble totally unconsolable what is the reason because rahu not only acts like the house lord it also acts like the planet which is in conjunction and also the planet which aspects rahu so when rahu gets the connection of saturn rahu will act like a those lord and in addition it will act like six those lord in case of mars and saturn or in parivartan and rahu gets the connection it is also a worst case if you understand these concepts you can make such clear predictions you know why i publish a lot of videos regarding rahu because this is the planet that many astrologers many aspirants find challenging to predict it is a planet which you cannot predict easily it is a mind whirling experience when you make predictions about rahu you have to apply whatever concepts i told layer by layer and then you have to make the final prediction when rahu resides in any of the four inauspicious houses gemini scorpio aquarius and leo and when there is no connection of benefics it will completely spoil their life in addition to this if it has got the connection of natural malefics then the worst effects will be more for the native of aries ascendant when rahu resides in scorpio which is another house of mars rahu will definitely act like a those lord though it is another house of ascendant i have drawn line from aries to scorpio for the native of gemini ascendant it is a straight line from gemini to scorpio and for the native of cancer ascendant it is a straight line from cancer to aquarius when rahu reside in any of these houses which is a dustana for the ascendant and when it has got only the connection of malefic such as saturn or mars or moon that is heading towards amavasya or when it is amavasya or mercury which is pavatva then it will deliver the worst effects in the life of the native please try to understand the concept of 6th house 8th house and the 12th house i will publish another video as a continuation of this concept in future may you all live well Write your feedback to astro.writers@gmail.com. Thank you.